Good morning, everyone. Oh! <laughs> I'm just living in, um, I'm just living in chaos right now, is how, is how life feels. I have to be out of this place by the end of October, so I have to find a new place to live in Paris. So I'm looking for an apartment to rent and yeah, I thought I thought everyone was being, you know, dramatic and just saying it for effect. And they were like, finding a place to live in Paris is really, really hard. Uh, no, it, it actually really, really is. I'm really, really struggling. So I'm feeling quite panicked and quite anxious a lot. And it's making me want to organise. <laughs> it's like a, you know, a way to reach for control, calm my anxiety. Um, which I think is, you know, perfectly, perfectly understandable. Let me know if you can relate in the, uh, in the comments. I'm trying to keep the faith. I'm trying to put everything that I've learned over the last 15 years about buying and renting properties, that it's all going to be okay. The right one will find me, but yeah, I've never done it in Paris before and it is, um, it is testing me. But the first place that I always go when I'm wanting to organise is my clothes and my wardrobe. I don't actually recognise myself in terms of how I'm organising my clothes at the minute. It's not my usual where I have the year round capsule wardrobe all out. I'm having to organise seasonally because I don't have the space right now. That's something else I'm just so looking forward to being able to have my own place and be able to organise my clothes in the way in the way that I want to I'm really really looking forward to that that change coming um, but yeah for now so I've had my summer clothes out and then all the rest of it I've had stored away and I'll, I'll show you the uh, the current situation and normally I do a full capsule wardrobe audit right now but I, there's no point in really doing that but at the same time, I do want to go go through everything, and I need to change I need to change things over. Put all the all the summer stuff away. I don't think I'm going to do any letting go, any swaps or anything like that until I'm in my new place and I'm settled. Um, but I am going to swap over the the seasons because we are definitely going into autumn here, and I wanted to share with you, and for myself as well, just pick out those key autumn capsule wardrobe pieces that I absolutely love that have served me really really well year after year hopefully it will help you too if you're looking to build capsule wardrobe of your own or you're looking to just do it for autumn show you what I'm wearing today I've been on the hunt for decent sports bras all summer and I finally found ones that I'm really really happy with from Oisho and that's what I've got on that's what I've got on right now so it's like um it's like a top I guess but like there's like a sports bra like built in here um, but if you are looking for nice sports bras that don't cost the earth that are really really good quality I cannot recommend Oisho enough that's where this one is from and then I've got my redone, redone jeans on and slippers because I'm, uh, I'm having a, uh, a cosy day. And then jewelry wise, I've got my Nordgreen watch on. This vlog is sponsored by Nordgreen, but I will talk a little bit more about them later. This is the current clothing situation and it just, it just will not do. It just will not do at all. Clothes there. She's there. I've got my little vacuum cleaner and my little mop in there. I definitely need some more space. But for now, this is you know, this is all I've had. I've had to um I've had to to manage as best I can. So this is what I've had out and I've tried to hang as much as possible and then in this side are you ready <laughs> show me a girl who's uh yeah living in chaos 
because of um, how unorganised the wardrobe is. How organised my wardrobe is most definitely reflects how I'm uh, dealing with uh, <laughs> with life right now. Yeah, this is very much in need of an organise. So this is the stuff that I've got out. And then the rest of it, hang on, I'll actually show you. This is how nuts things are, lives downstairs. I got the cutest little key charm from Ballet the other week. I'm like obsessed with it. It's so so cute. I should go downstairs to get the, <laughs> the rest of my clothes. So it's actually really common in Paris to have these, they call them like caves, but they're like, um, like shared storage spaces. And guys, literally, this is where the rest of my capsule wardrobe has been living because I don't have the space upstairs. Uh, we are in transition, as I said. But I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna sort everything out. Well, that's looking a lot better, a lot, lot better than it was. All curated and I've organised by category. So when I come to get dressed, at least I know where to go. This vlog is sponsored by Nord Green. Nord Green are a Copenhagen based watchmaker, very concerned with sustainability. They're a certified B corporation. In terms of design, they're all about timeless, classic, Scandi vibes. I love how their watches, their straps are interchangeable, though I tend to keep mine gold all the time, but you can have them more casual with a leather or vegan leather strap. If you want to find out more about Nord Green, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm wearing their Unica watch and you can use JRW for a discount. So in terms of autumn outfit staples, the first favourite has to be light knitwear. I've played around with this over the years and right now I am loving very delicate, feminine, romantic style knitwear. This jumper has all, all the ballet vibes for me. It's from Cezanne. I bought it earlier this year to replace another one that I shrunk by accident, but I love it. I find it super, super versatile and just it adds a little bit more warmth as opposed to what I've been wearing over the summer. My next go-to for autumn is long sleeve dresses. I've paired this one with heels, though I think it would have looked just as good with tights and boots. I love dresses because I feel like they're an outfit all, all in themselves. This one in particular, I really love the deep v-neck and I love how fitted it is. 
It's from Ghost. I think it's been discontinued, but I really recommend that brand for this, this style of dress. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. My next favorite go-to item is a transitional coat. A little bit like dresses, I think coats are super important because they finish off any kind of outfit. So if you get the coat right, you usually get the entire outfit right. I've had this one for years. I love that it's not too, too thick, so it acts perfectly in spring and autumn. Gives all the all the cozy vibes without being being too warm. I've had this coat for years. I bought it from Stella McCartney. I don't think I would actually spend that much on a coat again, but I have I have loved and adored it for for many years, and it's still got a lot of years left in it. I don't think any autumn capsule wardrobe would be complete without a pair of boots. I've teamed these with another long string dress that I love very much and I've owned for years now. I know I said earlier that I wasn't going to do any swaps, but I do feel like I'm ready to swap these boots. I think I'm going to swap them for a knee, knee length heeled heel pair, but up until this point they have been great for me. I've owned them for years and worn them with all sorts of different outfits, from jeans to dresses. I think they look really great with tights as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a few outfits. Let me know what your autumn capsule wardrobe go-to pieces are in the comments. Big thank you to Nord Green for sponsoring this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I will leave those links in the description and the discount code. And I will see you soon.